going on guys this is Jake from Greatest Tutorials and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to um, basically export 3D text from Cinema 4D to Photoshop without a background so you've just got the text it's easy just to put it on your background without cutting out the background in the text and all that it's pretty simple to do and not a lot of people know it this is why I'm making a tutorial on it so let's go ahead and open up Cinema 4D so as you can see you're in Cinema 4D. Before you start anything you want to go to render and you want to go to render settings yeah. So um, you can just copy my render settings if you want. You don't have to but these are my render settings. But yeah just make that 1280 by 720 and you want to put it on manual frames. Just copy this. Um, it'll take a second just to copy this. I'll make it bigger for you guys if you want. Um yeah let's just go current frame put down current frame actually and when you save it wait let's just show you make sure you got that when you save it you want to make sure you save it wait I'm gonna select well you don't have to select it you want to save it as a PNG a uh, reason why you save it as a PNG PNG is like for example <coughs> it's a where it's the only um, image like sort of thing what you could save a background with no background on you know what I mean so once you've got PNG you want to cl click on alpha channel and you want to check that box and then where it says straight alpha you want to check that box as well and then you just want to check what else I've got um, lens effects I don't recommend doing that I'll put a tutorial on what lens effects does gradually but now let's just jump ahead and make this text <coughs> so how um, how you make the text is pretty simple you just go highlight on this and just get a text tool like I just showed you guys and I'm gonna go for GT because GT is my greatest tutorial stands for greatest tutorials um, I might make it graffiti look let's see what graffiti looks like looks pretty okay so let's just make it 3D now so you wanna go to extrude nerves I don't know if that's how you pronounce it but it's worth a try and then you wanna basically hold the text and you want to drag it until you see this arrow what points down and then you just want to let go of it and it makes it 3D so let's render that out and as you can see it's 3D now um, I'm gonna just leave it like that I'm actually gonna just leave it um, you can also if you wanna make it look a bit more fancier is you can make it edit the 3D bit make it a bit more 3D that's if you want to um, I would just leave it at 20 because 20 is pretty handy you can obviously if you want to make your 3d text longer you can so now you're just gonna go to edit copy your um, extreme nerves and text and then you're just gonna paste it again and now what you're gonna do you wanna click on the move tool and you wanna go onto this blue line here and you just wanna pull it back a bit so it's about halfway half in between it yeah so it's just like that and then what you want to do is you want to click on extreme nerves and you see where it says object you want to click on caps and you want to go on to fill it and then you want to go on to fill it cap okay so as you can see now it's made it look a bit more fancier you can obviously drag it to make it a bit more nicer as if you want to connect it a bit more so I'm gonna go with that and then obviously you can add like a nice sort of color to it. I normally go for Nuki because Nuki is pretty nice looks good and it's pretty handy so as you can see that looks really nice so I'm gonna go for shader again and select Nuki this is an easy way to make a nice text so as you can see I've got Nuki again and then I'm just gonna go to diffuse and change that to white and it basically makes it nice and shiny you can have that as your background one let me just undo that alright so yeah just copy me as I'm going through it then as you can see now I'll render it out it looks more smoother and it looks like a nice sort of chrome effect on the text and then what you want to do is you want to highlight both of them by holding shift and selecting both like things so say if you're on there you just hold shift down and then just click on it the other layer and then you want to go on this circle layer here it's called a rotation tool and what you do with a rotation tool you have this circle thing come up and the green one is where you rotate it sideways, okay blue ones where you rotate it but it goes round in like a circle as sideways but 
you know you get what I mean and the red one is basically like moving it down and up and sort of you know so we're gonna get on the green one just gonna rotate it so it gets a nice look uh, let's rotate that a bit more around so every time you edit it again when you render it off you're gonna have to hold shift again and do that I would say let's maybe have it like that so you actually see a bit more of the 3d sort of text so as you can see that's done and then once you're done with that you can just go to f object and you can maybe give it a bit more 3d sort of look so it stands out a bit more but I only recommend doing it on external nerves the background one okay because if you do it on the front one it's just gonna look ruin it okay so that's all you gotta do then render it off see what it looks like that's looking really nice and professional and then all you're gonna do is just go to render to picture viewer renders it off you're gonna save as I'm gonna save it as a PNG you just don't touch anything because you've already done render settings you click OK you select where you want to save it um, I'm gonna go for time machine and I'm gonna save it to my greatest tutorial stuff and I'm gonna save it as GT logo and save it there and then once you're done with that you just close that open up Photoshop go to file open and then you just go straight to time machine greatest tutorials and then you go to GT logo or whatever you've named it and then there you go it's pretty simple to do I've made the video a bit longer just to give you more detail on how to make a nice text instead of just a basic text so yeah, you can just add in any effect as you want um, thanks for watching guys I would appreciate if you all thumbs up on this video is because I'm trying to get a YouTube partnership and hopefully if I do this channel will grow a lot more so I appreciate if you all rate thumbs up on this video um, favorite it and it would be very helpful if you just share it to all your friends by just sh clicking on the share thing at the, on the video or you can um, post it as a bulletin thing as well on your channel you see post bulletin or something like that you can do that as well just copy the URL and do that I would appreciate it very much and thanks for watching guys and I'll see you lot later. Remember to rate thumbs up because it helps me out a lot and leave a comment on what next tutorial you guys want. Okay, see you later.